entertains me so much to do those um, jump up <laughs> uh, entrances, but uh, it really does, if you can't tell. Now I'm just realizing as I'm talking, I don't know which end the camera's on. This is what I do every time I'm using an iPad. Okay, we'll just talk to both sides. And you guys can be really confused about why my eyes are darting back and forth. Job! Hi, Heidi! Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday Lunch Chat. My name is Sarah Keller. I'm coming to you live from inside my store, not another hat, located in the heart of the Columbia River Gorge, my left, here, um, in Hood River, Oregon. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. <laughs> I am such a dork. Oh, my gosh. Huh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm doing great. Just fine and dandy. Hi, Jeanette. Uh, it's a nice sunny day and the wind is blowing a little bit, but it's not as bad as yesterday and I'll take it. So, um, yeah, we have entered the season where Sarah complains about the wind every day. Oh, aren't you all excited? <laughs> Sarah chose to live in the river and yet she can't stand the wind. That's just shame on Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Um, oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. Anywho, yes, I'm just kind of killing time for a few seconds, letting people hop on the video. Um, I am wearing a sweater that I'm going to talk about in just a second, but it's yellow. You all probably know that I really like yellow um, in a lot of forums, and I've made several yellow sweaters. In fact, I think I have like four or five yellow sweaters. And uh, when we moved into our house in 2018, our interior is a lot of neutrals, but I accented with yellow. We have a, a gold yellow chair, um, among other things. And just recently, you know, last week I was going on and on about the nursery and buying all these plants and everything. Um, one of the things I splurged on last week was were giant uh, ceramic pots for the front porch, like the really big ones. You know, one of them is probably about two and a half feet tall, three feet tall, and the other one's slightly shorter, um, that I could put some <laughs> put an an annuals in, bright yellow, sunny yellow. And my house is dark gray um, with white trim and black windows. <laughs> so anyway, all of this is leading up to, I was really proud of these pots, and I picked out all the stuff, you know, and I planted in them. And my youngest, Valerie, got home, <laughs> the almost 16 year old and I said Mallory Mallory did you see the new thing on the front porch um so she goes out to see and she comes back in and I said what do you think aren't they neat and she goes you really like yellow don't you so <laughs> this is the joke of my house now is uh whenever we look it seems like Mallory's giving us kind of like a um an evasive response so she doesn't have to say something unkind. We just say, oh, you really like yellow, don't you? So then, of course, I, I'm looking at myself in this camera um, in a yellow sweater today, and I'm thinking of Mallory going, oh, you, you really like yellow, don't you? <laughs> no, Sharon, my front door is not yellow. Um, we actually wanted it painted black when we were building the house, and the builder essentially was just looked at us and was like, yeah, you don't paint a quality wood door. <laughs> so... It's a, it is a really big, it's an extra wide, large door, and we stained it dark brown. It just looks really nice. So we're, I'm happy that they, they talked us out of it. But, um, but someday we're going to, soon here, it is a west-facing door. We're going to need to refinish it pretty soon. Um, and maybe it would be fun to paint it an accent color. Um, yellow would certainly look amazing. So that was a lot about yellow in my life. So thank you for saying, <laughs> staying in there in the enthusiastic tone of a teenager. Exactly. You really like yellow, don't you? Yeah, that's what it felt like. She swears to this day, because now, of course, we're spitting that back at her nonstop, that she meant it um, sincerely, and she likes it too, and she thinks it looks nice. But it's much more fun to have something to tease her with, right? So, hello, Virginia in New York. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hi, Jillian. So, hey, since Jillian here, let's talk about her. I got to find somewhere to set my coffee down. That's not going to spill. Um, one second. I'm going to take a sip real quick. Let's see if I can't just squeeze it in right there. Okay. Jill has a new um, sample. It was also a test knit that she did for Jamie Lomax of Pacific Knit Company. It's the Doodle Sock! 
How beautiful is this? So, Jamie, as you know, um, probably from me talking about the doodle workshop that we just had last weekend, she is the queen of color work motifs. And so she has just released this sock pattern where she gives you a bunch of motifs you can plug and play in your own order. So Jill chose what order to put these motifs in. And Jill knit this out of Haiku Madrona, which is a fingering weight sock blend that is so, so delicious to wear. I wish you could feel all these. They are beyond soft, but it's gonna wear well. I'll tell you about Madrona in just a second. So this pattern just released Friday. Check it out um, on Ravelry, Doodle Sock by Jamie Lomax of Pacific Knit Company. We've got it hanging here on a handy dandy sock blocker which um, we have on our website if you're interested in these. They really are helpful for blocking socks. Um, not everyone feels like they need to block their socks, but it is nice to give the shape of a sock uh, rather than have it come out of a dryer all, it's, you know, all crumpled up and weird. Plus, it'll make your socks last longer if you dry them on um, sock blockers. And especially if you've done something in color work or if you're gifting them and you want them to really have that lovely sock shape, um, sock blockers are great and they come in different sizes so you can check those out on our website so I'm gonna hold up some Madrona really quick this yarn is so yummy I also designed a sock pattern in this yarn um, <laughs> I just blanked on the name of the sock um, I did it in the red color anyway this is this is Madrona comes already wound up in a handy little cake and the reason it is um, really well wearing for socks is it is a blend of baby alpaca, like Easy Care Baby Alpaca, can go in the machine, uh, merino wool, bamboo, and nylon. So you get strength from the bamboo and the nylon and sheen, and then softness from the baby alpaca and then the wool and then Lambert Twist, thank you, Lambert Twist socks. Um, really great sock yarn. So she used two colors, you would get two pairs of socks out of two of these. So um, really, really gorgeous. And we just got restocked, so we've got all the colors now um, back on our website. I mean, we had several still, but there was a couple of holes for sure. So we're fully restocked in the Haiku Madrona. If you want to try out some doodle socks for yourself, I for sure would like to make several of these, um, several pairs. So thank you. Yes. Um, next. Oh, so the big news has been revealed. The four day knit along is the Lemon Spritz Summer Tea by Marie Green. And I know you can't see it very well. Maybe if I lift her up. Oh, there's a little lace pattern on the bottom. It's a short sleeve tee with a really cute little lemon leaf detail on the sleeve. I was wearing this for, um, I was wearing this for our exclusive Zoom meetup that we did with Marie, where we talked about all things four day knit along. Um, we talked about the pattern and the sizing and the ease and the our yarn recommendations, etc. And it's me and Marie, and we're goofy and like we're dorks together for sure. So if you missed that, we actually put a link on our collection page, um, and you can watch the replay if you want to get the scoop. On that collection page, we also have all four or five yarns that we're recommending from our store for this um, knit along, including Malabrigo Sassuro, which is what I knit mine in, um, in this fuchsia colorway right here. And our sport weight wall looks so beautiful, thanks to Ariana coming in and spiffing things up over the weekend. So we are also recommending um, Elemental Effects Coastal and Haiku Twisp. And, uh, oh, this yarn I'm going to talk about in just a second that I'm wearing right now, which is Fiber Company Luma in Barocco Remax Light. So you can find all of those, including um, sizing and yardage information, on our collection page if you want to hop on the fun. And bear with me, those of you who know what this is all about, I'm just going to give a really quick rundown for the newbies. The four-day knit-along does not mean you have to knit a sweater in four days although you can if you want to. It's just a really fun way and excuse for us all to do the same project at the same time, starting <coughs> in July when people tend to do less knitting. Uh, Marie came up with it seven years ago. This is the seventh annual, and it's always a beautiful sweater. I always want to make it. In fact, I've made it twice, several times. So um, I'm even contemplating making it again. 
I'm a glutton for punishment. What can I say? It's really straightforward. It's a lovely sweater to knit. I had a great time making this. And the fun thing about having the lace below the arm is that normally with um, most top-down sweaters that have a lot of fun action up here in the yoke, you get past that, past the sleeve divide, and then it's just like bore me to sleep stockinette. And it's just like, I don't want to finish because it's so boring. And this is the opposite of that because you get this fun kind of stuff up here with the, um, the sleeves actually have reverse stockinette. So if you can get a look here, we have stockinette in the fronts and backs and reverse stockinette here on the sleeves. So that's really fun. And then the, um, you divide for the armholes and then you get the entertainment of making this really easy lace pattern. So I highly encourage you to check it out. Think about joining us. We'll have a sign up to um, do a couple of Zooms for people who are knitting along with us so that we can call, you know, inspire each other and help each other stay motivated. Um, so let's talk about the one of the yarns that we brought in just for this is the one I'm wearing right now. It's Fiber Company Luma. And Luma is one of my Desert Island yarns. We used to carry it a few years ago. We had it for long enough that it was time to let it go for a while. And we've brought it back because we love it that much. I'm not even kidding. So Luma is a beautiful, beautiful yarn. Um, it is in the light DK category and it's made of 50% wool, 25% cotton, 15% linen, and 10% silk. So it's a really beautiful blend of plant and animal fibers. Um, it has lovely drape and hand, and I'm going to show you a basket full of all the colors that we have right here. I am so sad to say that this color is discontinued, the one I'm wearing. I went to order the colors and I was like, but I know this is going to cause a problem because this is what everybody's going to want when I wear it. Um, and I had knit a swatch of lemon spritz. I did the lace section in a swatch to show off in the video. And then somebody was like, yeah, I want that color. I'm like, sorry. Um, so this is the colors we have though. Aren't they gorgeous? It's just like a crayon box of colors. I love so many of them. I wouldn't even begin to tell you like right now what which direction I was leaving, leaning. Yes, this new gold is gorgeous. This is totally right up my alley because I really like yellow, don't you? <laughs> um, so yeah, all of them. I love this flamingo. This is so out of my wheelhouse. Love it. Love both of these blue greens. Oh, I don't know. I've already made a sweater out of grenadine, so I won't be using this. Or actually, was my sweater out of sangria? Really close, though. Um, I love that color. I just won't be using it. I don't know. It's so hard to choose. So that's where I'm at on the four-day. Um, yes. And then, yes, this is Martine. So if you're interested in this sweater here, um, I made this years ago. It's called Martine. It's by Julie Hoover. And um, it's got this all-over texture that is really nice. Really, 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 it's like one of my favorite sweaters. Um, I wear this so much, and part of that is because it is um, multi-season. You know, I, I can wear it a lot of the year. It's got that turned over um, two by two rib on the um, neckline that I love, I love, love, love. Um, I might, you're not, you can't see the bottom, and I'm not gonna jump because you know what it does to the ladies. But uh, it's like, I'd say it's just past hip length for me. No, I mean, not past hip length. I'm short this way, so you know, it's hitting me not, it's not covering up my whole butt, but you can, you know, determine the length that you like. I just absolutely love this sweater, so do check it out if you um, are intrigued seeing me wear it. Um, in fact, I've worn it so much you can see it needs a good cleaning. Whoop, look at that pill. That's a doozy right there. Yeah, um, from where it's rubbed against my arms, etc. Yeah, Julie Hoover has classic wearable stuff. Diane says, so love Julie Hoover's patterns. I could not agree more. Um, I went to a church mouse retreat like years ago, <sighs> eight years ago, maybe more. Um, and she was one of the, um, uh, featured guests. And so she had brought a collection of, I don't know, 20 garments that she's designed over the years, and we got to like see them in person, try them on, etc. I had already decided I was knitting this. In fact, I had just casted it on going to the retreat, and um, and it was yeah, it was just confirmed to see her her sample and so many others of her patterns. So so beautiful. 
Um, yeah. Okay. Moving on real quick, Lack. I just wanted to give you all an update. Since I finished Lemon Spritz, you ever have that feeling after you finish kind of a big project or like a sweater sized project where, I don't know, like you're just kind of wallowing in this, I, need, I want to cast on something new. I know I have things I need to finish. I, I tried to find new inspiration. Like, in fact, I was ready to cast on something in Luma on Thursday afternoon after the Zoom. And um, I didn't nail down anything that really, really, really jumped out at me. And so um, I decided, and I'm glad that I did, that I would make myself pick back up a sweater that I had put down that I was already working on. And I picked it up reluctantly. I wasn't really jazzed about it, but I did it more like, this is a chore, I'm gonna do it. All it took was like two rows, and I was back into it, and I was like, yes, I love this. I'm so glad I'm working on this. So, all of that's to say, don't leave those poor whips out in the cold. Okay, here is what I've picked up. Let's see if I can get that to balance without falling over. Um, this is my Elton. Let's see if I can find the front. I think this is the front, yeah. So, I have now joined um, beneath the arms and I'm just doing round and round and round and stripes. Get those to stick out there, you can kind of see. So this is like a drop shoulder, top down um, construction, seamless, but it's like kind of squared off, a little bit of shaping. You, you end up, it hits you like right here on your arm and you pick up and knit down. Um, so it's very boxy and oversized, but the sleeves are not so boxy and oversized, if that makes sense. So I am really happy I picked this back up. I'm using, uh, Madeline Tosh Impression in Flashdance, that's my mohair, and then my purple is Ultimate Sock by Malabrigo. But basically any mohair, lace weight mohair, and then fingering combo uh, you could do as well. And Jill, we showed you Jill several um, episodes ago, and it's, it's around here somewhere, um, maybe, I don't know, anyway, hers is really beautiful, it's a light greenish color, and then, um, I think she's making another one. I know she's schemed at least two more. Uh, but they're, it's fun. It's entertaining. It goes actually pretty fast. I'm on... Uh, I'm going to try and look at these needles and see if I can read them without my glasses. Um, I'm on size four needles. That's what I got gauge on. And so... <laughs> um, even though it's a four, you, that seems kind of small, but it, it really does feel like it's going fast. Maybe it's just because you get to change colors every four rows, uh, and that feels like you're accomplishing something. Keeps you like moving forward. Um, <laughs> sorry, Lisa's dang it, now she's having impure thoughts about casting on for Elton and Martine. I'm sorry, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So do it, um, I'd say cast on. Don't make me be the only one with like 16 sweaters on the needles. Come on. I need you all to like back me up. So yeah, I wish Elton was the only other sweater I had on the needle. So I almost did a, <laughs> this is so bad. I shouldn't be admitting this to you guys. I almost did a poll. In fact, I even took the pictures. So I, I laid out four of my sweater projects. Elton was one. Lana was another. That's my planned pooling sweater. Um, Dolce, my Dolce sweater was one, Kiara, and then I can't remember the fourth already. Uh, I laid them all out and made nice pictures of their work in progress. And I was going to poll you all and ask you which one I should pick up next to finish. <laughs> and at the last minute, I was like, I shouldn't poll them because I totally am not going to listen to what they say. <laughs> I'm just going to do what I want to do anyways. So that's a little disingenuous. So... I didn't end up actually creating the poll. I just picked up Elton and decided that was where I was going. So I'm glad I did, though. It's cruising. It's on its way. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, that's all I got for now. So, yeah. Check out all the four-day stuff if you haven't already. And if you have any questions about any of the knit-along-related things, please feel free to email us. We are happy to send along more information. The pattern preview um, initial, like, phase will be on sale on Marie's website on the 26th, which is Friday, I believe. So um, right now you cannot pre-order the pattern just yet. 
We have a link on our website, and on the 26th, you can use that link to go and pre-order the pattern so that um, you can get in on all the fun. The pattern itself will not come out until July 1st, but you can get the, uh, the pre-order contains important information like yardage and swatching and gauge and all of that stuff, so you'll definitely want to do that. Also, if you buy the pre-order on the early side, you save a dollar, so who doesn't want to save a dollar? Um, all right. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I've had a great time being silly and talking to all of you, <laughs> as always. I always love it. I will see you here same time, same place next Tuesday. Adios.